In this video, we're going to take a look at another use case of the printer vulnerability uh, CVE 2016-3238 uh, or MS-16087 and look at how this vulnerability could be used to uh, infect a user from uh, the outside of a network, from the, out, uh, from the internet to, into a network environment. So, in this scenario, if we have an attacker on the outside, uh, you may be wondering, you know, how do we use printer vulnerabilities to uh, actually compromise a host? And the issue here is that, um, as we had seen in uh, previous videos, the automated delivery of printer drivers is kind of the root of the problem here. And this continues to work over internet printing protocol, web point and print. So this same type of behavior can happen over wide area networks and the internet. So this means that uh, if an attacker is able to compromise, say, a web page or a web ad, um, maybe some JavaScript to deliver that, uh, that malicious driver, um, the, that driver is going to get delivered to the victim user just as if he was in the network. So that malicious uh, driver could open a connection back out to uh, the attacker who is remote, but now he's in control of this machine on the inside of the network. And with that point of presence inside the network, then he can kind of go down the path of using that same approach to spread internally by, again, directly compromising an internal printer and infecting other users who might try to connect to that printer or um, setting up a fake printer, again, to lure attackers into uh, connecting to that printer and infecting them that way. So let's quickly take a look at a demonstration of what this would look like. Okay, so here we have a virtual environment where we have the attacker on the right-hand side of the screen and a victim on the left-hand side of the screen. Um, on the victim side, um, instead of directly connecting to a printer, uh, we're going to do uh, just basic web browsing. We're going to open up a uh, fake uh, web page. It's essentially going to have no content on it. But at this point, the user's not trying to print anything at all. Uh, he's just going to go to a normal web page. Um, but the thing that's going to happen is that even though he just went to a web page to surf, um, by delivering that printer driver in the background or kicking off a little bit of JavaScript that uh, makes the machine believe it wants to print, it's going to get the uh, printer driver uh, uh, delivered to, to the victim. So again, this is going to happen without the uh, uh, user really trying to print over the internet, but we're going to take adva advantage of this protocol. So as we run the demo, um, again, take note of the host on the left-hand side of the screen. We want to note the system name is reverser.vntest uh, local. Uh, even though we're running in user space right now, we're going to open up our Internet Explorer. Um, and here we just have a blank page. This is just an example. but. Uh, this page is running some code in the background and the driver is being delivered in the background. So uh, as a, uh, just as an example, again, this could be a compromised page. This could be uh, a malicious ad. And you see now on the right hand side of the screen, the shell is returned. We're going to check uh, to see what level we're running at and we see VN test reverser. So again, we're running at system level. We have system level control over this machine and uh, very much in control. So again, this is a pretty interesting way to uh, deliver malicious code to a host and infect that user over the internet. And of course, then we could uh, do all kinds of things as an attacker once we're on the inside of the network.